we are familiar with factorial, but are we familiar with this and this? This is not hashtag, okay? And neither is this the same thing as this. Now, I would like you to watch keenly and see how we are going to solve this. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a weird math question to solve, okay? So, we are going to start from the one we know very well. 5 factorial. Now, 5 factorial simply means 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. That is the product of all numbers from 5 to 1. Okay? All right. Now, so we are going to leave it this way. Let us go to the second one. Now, this is same thing as 5 primordial. Yes, 5 primordial. Now, what does this mean? This simply means the, the product of all prime numbers from 5 to 1. The product of all prime numbers from 5 to 1. Okay? All right. Now, this will be 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. Because if we say 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, you will notice that 4 is not a prime number and 1 is not a prime number. So 5 sub um 5 primordial is 5 times 3 times 2. Okay? All right. Now therefore 5 primordial is equal to 5 times 3 times 2. Okay? All right, now let us look at this. This is why I want you to pay attention very well. All right, now this is a sub factorial. A sub factorial. Now, what does that mean? First of all, let's discuss factorial. A factorial simply means, for example, three factorial means how many times we can arrange three items. Okay, how many times can we arrange three items on a straight line? Now, for example, the three items are A, B, and C. To arrange them, this is already one of the arrangements. I can decide to keep A and interchange the position of B and C to have C, B. Now, I can decide to keep A and maintain B. So if I write B, I'll write A, C, right? And I can decide to write B again and interchange A and C to have C, A. Okay? Now I can pick C and then write B, A. And I can maintain C again and interchange this to have A, B. And there is nothing else we can do. So it means that we have we can only arrange three items in six ways one two three four five six and this is same thing as factorial which is why three factorial is equal to three times two times one which is equal to six but this time around we have a sub factorial okay now this sub factorial is telling us how many times can we arrange a particular number of items in such a way that none of those items retains its original position? Now, we explain using this string factorial. Remember that we, in this particular arrangement, A takes the first position, B takes the second position, and C, A takes the first position, B is in the second position, and C is in the third position. Now, what this particular subfactorial is saying is that we should arrange this in such a way that A will not retain its first position, 
B will not be in the second position and C will not be in the third position. Now let's check. If you notice A is in its first position here. So we cannot take A. The first is even out already. Now here A is maintaining its first position. So we cannot take the second one as well. If you come here, B is not maintaining its position. A is not maintaining its position. But C is maintaining the third position. So we cannot take it. All right? Now, if you look at this, B is not maintaining its position. C is not maintaining its original position. And A is not maintaining its original position. So this is taken as a subfactorial arrangement. Now, look at this. C is not maintaining its position. But B is maintaining its position, its original position. So we cannot take it. Now, let's check this. C is not maintaining its position. A is not maintaining its original position. And B is not maintaining its original position. So this is taken. So it means that 3 subfactorial is equal to 2. Now, there must be a formula that we can use to find this. Okay? Now, let us bring the formula to both. Now, if this is the first time you have seen this amazing channel, please click the submission button, turn your notification bell, so that you don't miss our amazing videos, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. Now, remember that we got three subfactorials to be equal to two. Now, this is the formula. Three subfactorial is equal to three factorial multiplied by one divided by zero factorial, okay, minus one divided by one factorial, then plus one divided by two factorial, minus one divided by three factorial. And we are going to stop at three factorial because we have three subfactorial. Now, if we solve this, we will have three factorial brackets, one over zero factorial. Remember that zero factorial is equal to one. So then same thing as one over one minus one over one, then plus one over two minus. Now three factorial is equal to three times two times one, which is six. So we have one over six here. Okay. Let's see if we solve this, if we are going to get 2 as our solution. All right. Now, we go ahead and solve. This is equal to 3 factorial multiplied by, now 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is out. Now, the LCM of 2 and 6 is 6. When 2 divides 6, we have 3. 3 times 1 is 3, minus, when 6 divides 6, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So this will give us 3 factorial multiplied by 3 minus 1 is 2, divided by 6. Recall that 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 6. So we can write this to be equal to 6 brackets, 2 divided by 6. And when this divides this, you can see that the answer is 2, which is exactly what we got when we solve this without the formula. Now, let us apply that here. This time around, we have 5 sub factorial. Okay? We have 5 sub factorial. So 5 subfactorial will be equal to 5 factorial multiplied by 1 over 0 factorial minus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial minus 1 over 5 factorial. This is what we are going to have, right? And we are solving at 5 factorial because we have 5 subfactorial. So this is equal to 5 factorial brackets 
this will give us zero just like the other side okay so here we have one over two factorial is two minus one over three factorial is six plus one over four factorial is four times three times two times one so this is equal to 12 times 2, which is 24. So we have 1 over 24 here, minus 1 over, now 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we sent it as 5 times 24, which will give us 5 times 4 is 20, right there and carry 2. 5 times 3 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So we have 120. Alright, I hope you are enjoying this lesson. <laughs> because, yes, I am enjoying this lesson as well. So, we go ahead and solve. This is equal to 5 factorial multiplied by, now the LCM, of everything is 120, right? Now, 2 divides 120, we have 60. 60 times 1 is 16. When 6 divides 120, we have 20. 20 times 1 is 20. Plus, when 120 is divided by 24, we have 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Minus... When 120 divides itself, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So this is 5 factorial multiplied by 60 minus 20 will give us 40. 40 plus 5 will give us 45. 45 minus 1 will give us 44. 44 over 120. Recall that 5 factorial is equal to 120 as well. So this is equal to 120 multiplied by 44 divided by 120. So this is equal to 44. Okay? Now back to the question. We have already found those as 44. Now, <laughs> if we solve this then, if we solve it, we are going to have that 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, divided by 5 primorial is 5 times 3 times 2, multiplied by... 5 subfactorial is 44. Okay? So this is equal to 5 we divide itself, 2 we divide itself, 3 we divide itself. So we are left with 44 times 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1, 17. And this is our answer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.